John Prine, hero of New Nashville, dies after developing COVID-19 symptoms. John Prine, hero of New Nashville, dies after developing COVID-19 symptoms John Prine, a wry and perceptive writer whose songs often resembled vivid short stories, died Tuesday in Nashville from complications related to COVID-19. His death was confirmed by his publicist, on behalf of his family. He was 73 years old. Prine was hospitalized last week after falling ill and put on a ventilator Saturday night, according to a statement from his family. Even as a young man, Prine, who famously worked as a mailman before turning to music full-time, wrote evocative songs that belied his age. With a conversational vocal approach, he quickly developed a reputation as a performer who empathized with his characters. His beloved 1971 self-titled debut features the aching hello in there, written from the perspective of a lonely elderly man who simply wants to be noticed, and the equally bittersweet angel from Montgomery. The latter song is narrated by a middle-aged woman with deep regrets over the way her life turned out, married to a man who's merely another child that's grown old. Bestowing dignity on the overlooked and marginalized was a common theme throughout Prine's career. He became known for detailed vignettes about ordinary people that illustrated larger truths about society. One of his signature songs, Sam Stone, is an empathetic tale of a decorated veteran who overdoses because he has trouble readjusting to real life after the war. Like Sam Stone, many of Prine's songs also had an uncanny ability to address the societal and political zeitgeist. The understated 1984 song Unwed Fathers illustrates pernicious double standards pertaining to gender. The titular group can't be bothered they run like water through a mountain stream. While the young women they impregnate are shamed and face consequences, 